So the Zurich Innovation Championship is something that the group launched back last year. And actually, it's we're inviting startups across the globe to come forward with uh, ideas around this year's topic, which is uh, protecting the next generation, and come up with ideas that are already developed and, and help uh, societies, companies, uh, the individual uh, to protect themselves around a few topics that are like climate, uh, health and some other things. So you mentioned a couple of the topics there, climate, mm. health, automation, um, issues affecting the next generation, really. Um, why is it those specifically that you uh, are looking to get involved in? Mm-hmm. Let me elaborate a little bit because I think it's a, it's a, it's a longer topic, right, <laughs> which you could spend uh, uh, talking for hours. But I think Zurich is very much committed about the future and the sustainability of, of this planet. Being an insurer, obviously, we're exposed with risks, risks that affect you personally, risks that affect the business, but also risks that affect society overall. Just think about what happened recently in Lexi with the floodings, right, which obviously was a climate in, uh, climate-induced in uh, flooding, clearly. And... We are very much committed through our business, through our services, through our commitment to, to, to the society and community to create a better and more sustainable environment for everyone. And that's why this is so important to us. And just give me the, I'll give you the example of Laxi because I think that's what we are very familiar with, that um, Zurich Foundation, after the flooding happened, has donated $25,000 to to help restore the um, the damages that were done. But I think really what we are here for is to think about how can we prevent something like this happening in the future. And I think that's why we're looking for ideas because there are many, many people out there thinking about the same. And I think if we can collaborate and help them to grow them from an idea to a sustainable offering, then I think we'll be on the right track. And this is, you're appealing for startups from the Isle of Man, but this is a, a global mm-hmm. contest. So you're looking really for, for world leading ideas, really. Yes, and I think the Isle of Man has many world-leading ideas, as we know, right? So that's why uh, this year we've already also started to to promote this here on the island. Last year, uh, we had about 450 ideas from 49 countries. So this year, I expect 451 and 50, so which would hopefully something from, from the Isle of Man as well. And uh, yeah, we're really appealing to the, the people out there that are thinking and developing uh, groundbreaking ideas to come forward and, and, and put them into a competition that will obviously give them support and other Ultimately, hopefully, that will make it a new um, a new proposition out in the world. Now, Zurich obviously is a, a huge international company. Mm. Why is it important for you to support startups? Obviously, um, as a global organization, we are subject to change that's happening everywhere. We call it the perfect storm that's going out there at the moment, right? You have so many new uh, startups, tech companies coming forward, developing new business propositions. We do have... Uh, when you think about insurance, we have a low interest rate environment. Uh, we have climate that is changing. We insure buildings, we insure sites, and so on. That's all being. It's all affecting us as a business. And hence, I think for us, it's important to see how we can make our business also more resilient. We are in a, in the long term business. We we when we issue an insurance policy, many times that policy will last forever, 50, 60 more years. And that's why I think it's so important that we as a company and as a business develop as well further. And we will be soon 150 years old, right, as an organization, and then we are here to last. So that's why we have to do everything to last forever. And what is it that is on offer to those who win this championship? So the sooner you apply, right, I think the more you will get to benefit from the support that Zurich can offer. So those that will apply now will get into a kind of interaction with us. So we, we have someone within Zurich International, for example, that is based here off the island. Paul Lawson is responsible then to collect those ideas and work with those ideas between now and, and December. By the time we then submit them to to the um, uh, to the to the jury uh, if, to, to come forward in the panel. And so there will be coaching between now and then. And then afterwards, there will be further coaching happening up to the finals. And after the finals, and, and we have picked the winner, that winner will be implemented uh, within Zurich. And, uh, and, 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 and hopefully this will take them to the next stage. I think you've mentioned already this isn't the first time that mm-hmm. you've done this. What happened to last year's winners? So, so last year's winners, uh, we had obviously uh, regional winners and then we had a global winner. Uh, those have all been uh, implemented or are being uh, actually uh, launched very soon within Zurich Group. I mean, 
for example, uh, the, the winner, which is Chisel AI, it, it is being used to, to read unstructured data and then make it structured. And think about all the paper that an insurance company has, all the applications and, and claims forms that come in. So to be able to read that in an automated fashion helps, helps a lot. For us at Zurich International, we have two pilots in, in, in the run in the Middle East, in Dubai. We selected um, a company called BTO, which is a, a financial planning tool that allows uh, individuals and companies to do financial planning on an individual basis. It's all automated, and that's actually in, in production in, in Dubai as we speak. So, so that's just to give you an example. And then there's another example of where we've selected a, a company that does DNA, uh, so DNA-type uh, analysis. And we will be launching this um, this proposition in Colombia, I think, towards the end of the year. So, so very much things have taken from an idea and they're now out there in the market and alive.